But out of the base offense, you kind of saw it. Go, go to that, the ball screen here to the third side. Just, just do a re-screen. Ball screen, re-screen, throw back, throw to the corner. What are you doing? Lift it, throw it here. We got to switch there, right? Throw back, throw back, throw it. We got to switch here. Throw back, come off of it. And now, how, how many players have we switched on already? And, and the great thing is, we got to switch and we're just going to jam it right in this post right here. And we're just, we're just going to keep playing. But the best time, like I said, to feed the post is, all right, we got the switch right here. We got the switch right here. Is come off this roll. And I'm, I'm going to come off this. And I'm going to throw it. So, so go ahead right here. Go ahead, throw it right here. Go ahead, throw it. Lift. Set this ball screen. Keep rolling. Now, come off of it and throw it to the post. So who's going to ball screen? Whoa, whoa, whoa. who's going to ball screen? When every time we throw it strong side, guys, every time you throw it strong side, what have you done? I slayed the big on the post. So if you want to get in the post, throw it strong side and you got the big isolated. Does that make, does every, can everybody see that? You can manipulate it how you want to manipulate it. So, Coach, you, you got to answer your question. Anytime you want to get the post isolated, just come off the ball screen, throw it strong side, and, and after you get get it set, you get. So, if you get a one to five ball screen and they're switching, you you can get that throw it back, and, and I mean, you can get that switch right there and just throw it strong side. 